In this video, we will apply the rig function onto your 3D model parts. For rig, you have to go to the 3D model tab on the create panel and click on rig. There's two functions here, normal to sketch plane and parallel to sketch plane. For this example, we will be using the first one, normal to sketch. Press cancel first, or the escape key. Take a look at the sketch. If you notice, the sketches for rib are always open. We do not need to have it closed. The line don't even need to terminate to the surfaces here and here. You just need to detect where and how does the line look like. Let's apply the rib normal to this plane. Click on rib. The line is automatically applied and change the thickness to 8mm. You can play with the direction. In some cases, even though after selecting the profile, your rib preview is not there. So my suggestion is to play with the direction first. Next, you can also apply the different direction. In this case, it's actually symmetry about this center line. You can also make it one-sided. Let's keep it to the symmetry portion and press OK. Now, let's open up rip extrude parallel .ipt. In this example, we have a sketch right in the middle of these two ends. The sketch consists of an arc of radius 20 and as usual, for rib, the sketch doesn't need to end exactly or be a close look. Let's begin the rib. Click on the rib tool on the 3D model and create panel. The arc is selected as under the profile. Now, when things doesn't work, click on the next function, which in this case is the parallel to sketch. Now you can see a preview. A thin 1mm rib has been created. Change the thickness to 8mm. And if you notice, this is a one-sided rib. Let's keep it to symmetry. and press OK.